The mouth may be an open gateway for viruses and bacteria, but that doesn't mean that we should stop kissing. We have a powerful final line of defence to deal with invaders which do get inside our body. The blood contains white cells which move around the body looking for invaders. These white cells make up our immune system. The white cells are like a police force, each with a different job to do. Macrophages, helper T cells, killer T cells, and B cells work together as a team to fight invading microbes and toxins. Unchallenged, some microbes cause disease. White cells are on the lookout for microbes and toxins. The white cells called macrophages are on patrol to detect invaders. Usually macrophages kill microbes. If the invaders are too difficult to handle, it hangs on for help. White helper T cells sniff out invaders and alert the rest of the team. Killer T cells and B cells. Killer T cells destroy the invader and B cells make tags called antibodies. It records and labels each type of microbe and then creates tags or antibodies which lock on to the invader like a jigsaw. These tags are distributed in the body to trap unsuspecting bugs. When more bugs arrive, some are caught and identified. Killer T cells are alerted. They destroy both invader and tag. If the same bug revisits, its records are already on file. The B cell makes more tags to distribute and have a better chance of fighting a second invasion. However, some viruses are more cunning. They are masters of disguise. Others can hide inside normal cells, making it impossible to produce the right antibody tags. But we can help our immune system with medicines, vaccinations and common sense. Stay fit, eat well and keep the bugs away.